you are learning power bi then this is the series for you start from video 1 to learn all the basic concepts of power bi this particular series had more than 150 plus videos to teach you each and every concepts around dex around power query so that you can enhance your skills in power bi subscribe to the channel hello and welcome to another video on beginner tutorial series and in today's video we are going to uh, you know create tables in power query using the hash table uh, operation and let's go ahead and try this out on power bi so what we are trying to do here is now we are uh, evaluating ways how can we create a new table in power query and one of the ways is to use hash table the shortcut which is available with us so let's go to the home table transform data transform data to reach to power query and once we reach to the power query what we would like to do here is we want to create a new source now we'll create a blank source and let's look at the documentation this is the m documentation exp uh, expression values and let expression and here we have been given a syntax so the two syntax are been given create a table with implicit column data types or explicit data set data types where, where you want to mention what the data type and you're not going to mention so when you don't want to mention the data type you actually need to list one is the list of columns and second is list of list inside the hash table so fine let's try to create our own table so we write we created a blank query and we go to the advanced editor and we say hash table and inside that one we know first list is we need a column list we can we can call it a comma b and then list of list where i can have the first list one i can have let's say a let's say a b c comma one and then i can keep on adding few more rows and let me change it a little bit and let's say done so we got a list of list uh, and into the hash table and the second list is the again a list of list and each list is creating a record so we got a table of our own now we can change it increase the uh, number of columns let's say i want another column here let's say c i can have this and then I, it could be something like let's try date column into this one there's no comma here let's change them a little bit so we got another column and let's try to make it as now date time column or date column let's say and we are able to convert that okay so what is happening we have used this hash table function here and we are able to get a table now there is another one which has been suggested here that you can give a data type also like so here it's kind of a record we are giving type table and then there is a record kind of a statement here where in the square brackets you have the uh, table name and the data type so we are going to try this out also so let's go ahead and try out again let's create a new source blank query and right click advanced editor and here we are going to create hash table and here in the hash table first thing let's do is type and we need to make match the case everything is small here type table and we start with a square bracket and we say a equals to data type and we don't need double quotes here let's say equals to number comma b equals to text and let's say comma enter let's give a list a comma well, let's have only one record right now let's say done 
we have some error let's look at the syntax let's look at the error so it should be number and it should be text we have given it in reverse order so let's go ahead and try this out in the correct order still we are getting error value one to type list it should be a list of list even though we are giving one column so what that's the mistake we were committing and let's correct it out now we got the correct record now let's keep on adding them it's not working let me go transform home tab advanced editor quickly add few records comma 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 is needed a b c d two three four done so we got all the records here let's say if i want to add another column c space d let's see what happens equals to date now just, let's give all small hash day 2022 hyphen 01 hyphen so comma 01 comma 01 and let's give it here same date everywhere and then change little bit let's create these two record here and we got it so you can give the space between the names no problem in that you can simply write it down so this is how you create a table with explicit data type using the hash table function so just like any other uh, languages uh, power query have its own data type and we are using those data type creating various kind of structures and then we may or may not convert those structure into the table and use it but finally to use it in the DAX, we convert them into the table structures. So we have now learned how to create a table and we'll continue to explore more like uh, how do we uh, get a table from a list and all those operations in future videos. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you. Keep watching, keep asking questions in comments, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for new videos. Thank you.